A great story to do on this Friday. Is it even worth it anymore? That's the big question that business owners are beginning to ask themselves after watching business after business broken into because of an ATM. WMER 2 News' Kendall Green is wrapping up the week gauging whether having an ATM is becoming more of a liability than an asset. Five ATMs, six days. That's the situation Baltimore finds themselves in after this latest attempt, less than 24 hours after BPD Commissioner Michael Harrison addresses the matter. It shows that this is a situation BPD doesn't have an answer for. At least not yet, anyway. They've hit Hamden, Fells Point, Security Square Mall, MeQ, CQ, Walgreens, and now this store on Hartford Road. Another day, another cleanup after thieves attempt to jack another ATM. A 15 year store owner who chose not to go on camera is having second thoughts about housing an ATM, taking notice of who and what they're attracting. Of course, that's the frustration, that's the tension, you know, we are mentally feel not comfortable, you know. And as reports inch up closer and closer to his front door, he's growing nervous that he could find himself behind the burglary bullseye as police struggle to find solutions to the problem. We just pray to God, that's it, for safety and security. No human can, if something gonna happen, no one can stop it, but we can pray. That's the only thing we can do it. Saying now, having an ATM is seemingly posing more of a risk than a reward. The thieves who took out the entire entrance of Walgreens on York Road early this week cost the store thousands in repairs. The store owner has a much smaller building and even smaller ATM balance, but just as much of a risk, all for the sake of customer's convenience and a roughly 1% store profit from the usage fees. Is it worth having the machine for the damage it could cause? It doesn't work. It's better, you know, we remove the ATM. Let it go. <laughs> because the, I did not see it, but I heard from the customers that the Walgreens, they broke it badly. So it's going to cost thousands of dollars to fix it. So even that much money is not in the ATM. BPD Commissioner Michael Harrison says they're coordinating with other agencies to gather intel regarding these ATM thefts. But in the meantime, if anybody has any details on this particular theft or other ones, contact police. Reporting in Baltimore, Kendall Green, WMAR2 News.